Today I will show you how to use the TI-84 to get the proper T test statistic for doing a confidence interval on a population mean. And to do this, we will be tricking the calculator. So we start by hitting stat, and then go over two to reach the tests, come down past the Z interval, which we've already learned, and the T interval is sitting there waiting for you at number eight. Enter that. We always want to choose stats here. Okay, so we come down to fill in the X bar value. Now, following the specific instructions on the in matrix that I passed out in class, our X bar is always set to zero. So let's set up the standard deviation of the sample. And in accordance with your uh, matrix, again, it says it should be the square root of the sample size. So let's assume for a moment that the sample size is 256. That's the sample size coming from the scenario. So we do second square root 256. And then, okay, so we filled that in. It's supposed to be the square root of the sample size, all right? So we come down here, and that automatically takes the square root for you, so it changed into 16. No need to do the calculation yourself. And then N, for N, we put in the sample size. Again, that's the one from the scenario. So whereas S of X is the square root of sample size, N is the sample size, and the sample size is 2, 5, 6. Okay, confidence level. Let's assume that we are being asked for a 95% confidence interval, so 0.95, enter, enter. And there you have the T statistics that you need to use for your confidence interval on the population mean. So let's do that again. We go to stats, tests, choose number 8, that's the T interval. We leave it on stats, we leave, it, leave X bar at 0. All right, let's say that our sample size this time is, is only 15. So we do second square root 15, enter. And again, our sample size is 15, so we fill that in. And let's change our confidence level to 99%. Okay, so now we're going to get a T statistic that we use to calculate the margin of error and the standard error for our confidence interval. So in this case, it is negative 2.977 and positive 2.977. Here it's shown as the 9768, out to four decimals instead of out to three. And this is very distinct and different from using the Z interval to do a confidence interval on a population proportion.